What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with another review for Baddies ATL Season 1 Episode 2. The episode, what was it titled you guys? Hey. Now you see me, now you don't. I believe that's the title of the episode. If it's not right, it'll be correct in the description bar below and also in the title of the video. But you guys, without further ado, let's get into this. Now before we even do that, if you guys are watching this video or any of my other videos, on the channel and you guys are not already subscribed to the channel what are we doing like why are you taking me out on a date you know at the end of the date you stiffing me and leaving me with the check hit that subscribe button you guys hit that notification bell button and also hit that like button so that YouTube can recommend me to other people all right you guys so with that being said let's go ahead and talk about baddies AT. all right you guys I'm still trying to understand what the premise of this show is I know they keep talking about they trying to get to a bag but is the bag itself the show like I'm just trying to understand what the bag is like if this was like a love and hip-hop real housewives I would understand it a little bit better but I just don't understand what the premise of this show is it has no premise. It, it, it makes no sense to me but I mean I'm gonna stick with it but unfortunately the show just doesn't make a lot of sense to me so this episode it literally picked up with the last one left off with Christina and Natalie fighting each other. Now, I've been seeing the fans or the stands, whichever one you want to say. I've been seeing them going back and forth about who won the fight between Christina and Natalie. Honestly, from, coming from somebody who's not a fan of either one of them, I like Christina, but I'm not a fan. Neither one of them won. Being honest neither one of them won that fight Christina swung and hit Natalie's arm then it's a bunch of you I mean you did see some 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 hits coming in you saw Natalie swinging I couldn't really see if Christina was swinging or not but I believe she was but then at one point Christina kept telling Natalie to let go of her hair the security guards kept telling Natalie to let go of Christina's hair and that's really what it sounded like was a bunch of hair pulling because even Christina was able to pull off Natalie's wig so that's what it was for like a good few minutes then after that they still were arguing back and forth they were arguing back and forth it hit the seven minute mark and they were still arguing with each other I'm like what are they arguing about like are we still arguing about this whole makeup situation it's not that deep it's really the stupidest shit you could argue about makeup I mean okay now if we I, I, again like I said I really don't understand what they were arguing about but they were arguing su suffice it to say they were arguing with each other um what else do I want to talk about Christina Christina threw Natalie's wig out of the window okay seven and Janelle came into the room trying to figure out what was going on I don't even think seven and Janelle got a clear understanding of what was going on because I still don't have a clear understanding of what went on so eventually Sarah and Natalie left and went back into I guess Natalie's room so that she could get her makeup done and get a new and get a new fresh wig put back on cool but while they're in the room you know Chris not Christina but Natalie is talking to Sarah talking to the makeup artist talking to her Okay. Oh, shit, I need to turn that down. I hope you guys don't hear my TV in the background. Um, where we at? Where we at? So, yeah, like I said, Sarah and... So, Natalie and Sarah and the makeup artist and her hair person, they're in, one, they're in her room talking, and then Christina is in her room talking to Janelle and to Seven. Like I said, once again, this shit just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what they're arguing about eventually Sarah and I Sarah but Janelle and seven left and Christina went live on Instagram now I did see this on social media when Christina went live I think it might have been on one of them BGCT page the, the BGCT page I think that was the page that I saw it on but again it, it just doesn't make any sense what they're arguing about makeup artist I don't understand it let's move all right you guys I don't know how long this review is gonna be because honestly with the episode not a lot happened like 
even like I said in last week's review with Bad Girls Club, it may it didn't it. Looking back at it now from a thirty year old perspective, Bad Girls Club even because I've been like I said I've been binge watching. I've watched rewatched season eight, nope, season seven, season nine, and season ten. I never watched fifteen. I'm trying to watch fifteen. It's just not catching my attention. But um, even watching it, you know, Bad Girls Club, they had a formula. They put the girls in the house. They take away the TV. They take away the. They give them limited access to the internet. They give you one phone. You don't have doors on the. You don't have any doors. You have to look at all them camera lights all day. You go to the. They send you to the club, and they provide you with alcohol. With this show, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so. They're not, I mean, if they're going to a club, they not, show, which they did say in one thing, they went to Magic City. But even with this show, it, I mean, I don't understand what they're doing. Like I said, Bad Girls Club had a formula, a stupid formula, but it had a formula nonetheless. So they didn't show us this. They didn't show us a scene. I think it would have been pivotal to actually show the scene. So that way we, when it came on, we wouldn't have been like, what the hell, Sydney? So, I'm talking about Sydney Star and Judy. So Sydney, Sydney, the next morning, I guess it's the next morning. I don't know. I can't really tell you what day it is. I don't know if it's the same day that Christina and Natalie had to fight, or if it's another day. Suffice it to say, Sydney was looking for Judy, and I thought Sydney was just being hella extra, which she still was being hella extra. But she was looking for Judy. She wanted to get go off on Judy. And I'm like, oh, God, are we still talking about this shit from the first episode where she said that Judy called the producers of Bad Girls Club and told them not to put Sydney on the show? I'm like, Sydney, at this point, let it go, sis. That was almost 10 years ago. Like, that was literally almost 10 years ago. That was nine years ago for Bad Girls Club Mexico. That was nine years ago. Let that shit go. They asked you to be on this show. You know, Sydney is just attention seeking and she's attention seeking. She's thirsty. And she looks a little desperate and pathetic. I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. Those are my opinions of Sydney. But um so, so back to this show. So she's looking for Judy. Like I said, I thought she was looking for Judy because of the situation that they discussed in the in the premiere episode, but no, this is where they said that they went out to Magic City, and I guess they were on their way back to the house or either on their way to the club. I don't know, but Judy and Sydney got into it, and I guess Judy was still feeling some type of way about the way that Sydney had been coming at her. Cool, I get that, I get that she was coming at you hardcore. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but Judy lost me. When Sydney said that Judy spit on her, that is the ultimate form of disrespect. Like, you fix your mouth to spit on somebody. Now, what you did to Priscilla back in, in, in New Orleans, you know, I was cool with that. I'm going to serve you breakfast in bed. That was fine. You didn't buy, I mean, you didn't violate her by putting your bodily fluids on her. And then we are in the, the again, once again, we are in the middle of a pandemic and here you are fixing your lips to spit on someone and then judy keeps coming with this whole transphobic shit she keeps calling sydney a man like judy i don't know if your mama didn't tell you if you ain't got nothing nice to say don't say anything at all like i don't know what your mama taught you i really don't know what she taught you because sometimes it's better to be quiet than to say anything because the, you t you talk when you talk you sound comp you sound super duper ignorant like season seven of bad girls club when you was talking about shelly's girlfriend and you asked her was she a transvestite instead of a transvestite i talked it up to ignorance at that point but you in your 30s you are my age i think me and judy are literally the same age i think we're 31 about to be 32 at this point judy in your life i can't chalk it up to ignorance because you know you should know better by now you should know better so yeah she and Sydney were going back and forth about that about her spitting on her now I don't agree with nobody putting their hands on nobody but when it comes to somebody spitting on you like I said that is the ultimate form of disrespect 
I don't care if Sydney is a trans woman, a cis woman, whatever she is. If you, if if any human being fixed their lips to spit on me, I'm gonna lay you out. I'm gonna knock the shit out your ass, man, woman, child. I don't care. Don't spit on me. That's the one thing that I'd ask you. You just don't spit on the person. That's nasty. That is disgusting. That is assault. Like that's assault. And then Judy sitting her time about that Sydney's a man, but you you assaulted the woman. You assaulted her. So if she had to hit you, she would. I, I would. I would not have felt anything about it. If she had punched you, smack dead in your motherfucking face, I would not have felt anything about Sydney doing that. Judy is a nat. I mean, that is nasty as fuck to spit in somebody's face. Like when Pumpkin spit on, spit on New York on um Flavor of Love, the most nasty, vile, disgusting shit. Like that just tells me that you don't think anything of me as a person. You might not like me, but damn, really. So Sydney was trying to throw it. Sorry, you guys, someone called me. But yeah, Judy, that's just nasty. Don't spit on nobody. Don't do that nasty shit. So then Seven calls Tanisha to let Tanisha know what's going on in the, in the house at this point. You know, the fact that Christina and Natalie have had a fight. Sydney and Judy have gotten into it. So... Tanisha's gonna come over to the crib and I was like what is Tanisha gonna do no shade to Tanisha but I'm like what the fuck is Tanisha gonna do I know y'all you know call her the godmother of the bad girls but what is she gonna do so Tanisha comes over and when she gets there Janelle and Seven meet her at the door so Janelle and Seven get her caught up on what's going what's happened with the girls you know about the fact that Natalie and Christina fought over makeup Judy and and Sydney have gotten into it with each other over Judy spitting on Sydney. Tanisha got pissed off about Natalie and Judy, which rightfully so, especially Judy. Like I said, what Judy did, low blow as fuck. And you know, Natalie is supposed to be, see here's, here's my thing when it comes to Tanisha and comes to Natalie. So Tanisha and Natalie are both EPs of the show, correct? If you're, e like, I feel like with EPs of the shows, sort of like with Real House, nope, 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 Merit to Medicine and Basketball Wives, you know, people always talk about Shawnee on, on Basketball Wives. Either you're going to be a cast member or you're going to be an executive producer. And the same with, like, Mariah Huck from Merit to Medicine. Either you're an EP or you're a cast member. Because then when you play that EP role, People want to, you know, they they be like, oh, she can, you know, she can fire us if if they if you know if we go against the um if we go against her. So I like what Tanisha is doing. Tanisha is not necessarily getting herself involved in the mess, but Natalie, however, is, and you know, it is what it is. So Tanisha goes into the kitchen where all the ladies are, and they are trying to talk to you know they're trying to talk but um christina was there christina was on one she was lit she was turned all the way up because she was like you know she gonna stay ready you know you know she gonna stay on she on she on she gonna stay on ready like if anybody want to fight her and she kept saying it and christine like i said christina was just on one the entire time i was like okay like, that's why I keep wondering with this show, are they putting on for the cameras? But you would think that they've never been on television before when every last one of these ladies in this house has been on reality television before. Most of the girls, Bad Girls Club, Sydney Star, Love and Hip Hop. Like, you would think that this is their first time ever being on television. And technically, they really ain't on television. You're on Zeus Network. No shade to Zeus, but I'm just saying. So... At one point, I mean, this whole episode, all they did was bicker and argue back and forth. And I was like, I'm, and I kept sitting thinking to myself, I'm like, are they going to literally sit here and argue for the whole episode? They did. Because at one point, you know, Tanisha, so Natalie was trying to talk to Tanisha. But when Natalie kept trying to talk to Tanisha, Christina kept jumping in. But eventually they had a conversation. Then Tanisha and Natalie got into it at one point. Then Tanisha and Sarah got into it at one point. 
So Sarah obviously feels some type of way about the fact that Natalie and Tanisha are EPs and she's just a regular producer of the show. Girl, what credit, like, like the EP credits and the producer credits, I just feel like they just gave that to y'all just to, just to say, hey, I feel like with the, with the, the only person who, with, with their EP credit, I think they may have some leeway with it. Nope. I don't even think Tanisha nor Natalie has any significant leeway with their EP credit. I think their EP credit might be similar to Shawnee O'Neal's from Basketball Wives. I think there, I think that might be what their EP credit is, because like Sean, like on Basketball Wives, Shawnee doesn't have the power, the power to hire or fire. Actually, Mariah from Marriage to Medicine didn't have the power to hire or fire. So, I think it's just in paper only. I don't know. I could be wrong, but yeah. So Tanisha was gonna leave, but then they talked to her coming back. Then they, it was a cycle actually. It was really like a cycle. Because Tanisha was talking to Natalie again. Christina kept chiming in. Christina took her earrings off. Sarah piped up. Tanisha and Sarah got into it. Tanisha's ready to leave. That was where the episode ended. I was just like, what did I just watch? And it was 40 minutes. <laughs> Interesting. I really, I, I wonder how many episodes this first season has. At least, let please say eight. I can do eight. I can give you eight. I could probably give you 10. Anything more than that, I cannot give it to you. I mean, it might, it, it don't have to, it don't, one for me, Baddies ATL has to pick up because I, it, it, it's lagging because they're arguing about trivial shit, number one. Number two, I still don't know what the premise of the show is. What is the premise of the show? If somebody can explain to me the premise of the show, Maybe it would be a different story. Maybe I will understand it. But you guys, that's it for Maddie's ATL. I'm off of here. Let me know what you guys think about the episode in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop things else and share this video. And until the next one, you guys, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Whatever you do, just be safe in doing it. And socially distance, you guys. Stay blessed, you guys. And I'll see you guys from Air to Medicine, and then tomorrow, Monday, we will be back with episode reviews of Pose. Oh no, it's two more episodes of Pose left. Pose and the season um, premiere of The Shine. So until then, you guys, bye.